you take the ammonia molecule, get rid of one of the hydrogens and replace it with a carbon group like a methyl group, you have an amine. This is the amine functional group and these compounds are usually represented with this general formula where R is the rest of the hydrocarbon chain. So let's do some naming. Identify the longest carbon chain, in this case it's methane, drop the letter E and replace it with amine. The amine functional group is given priority so any alkyl groups are named according to standard conventions from this position. So this amine will just be called methanamine. Methyl amine is also acceptable as it really is just a methyl group attached to the functional group. Let's grow this chain. The longest chain in this example contains three carbons, so we know its parent chain is propane. Drop the E and change it to amine. There's also a methyl group attached to the functional group, and since these substituents are numbered from the functional group, there's no need to identify the position as it's always at the start anyways. So this becomes methyl propanamine. Okay, next level. The longest chain is butane. Drop the E and replace it with amine. It also contains a methyl group here and here. Since the amine is given priority, we'll number the carbons giving it the lowest possible position. So this becomes 2,3-dimethyl-2-butanamine. Okay, last one. Well, it looks like there are three methyl groups attached to the nitrogen. This is called trimethylamine. There's no real parent chain here. Amines can be further classified as primary, secondary, or tertiary, just like the alcohols. These are known as primary amines as they only have one alkyl group attached to the nitrogen. This one is a secondary amine as it has two alkyl groups attached to the nitrogen. And this is known as a tertiary amine as it has three alkyl groups attached to the nitrogen. So what about the amides? If you take a carboxylic acid and replace the hydroxyl part with an amine, you get an amide. These have these general structural formulas where each R can either be an alkyl group or a hydrogen atom. Have a geese at this one. The longest chain that contains the amide functional group is ethane. So drop the E and replace it with amide. So this becomes ethanamide. If there's a methyl group attached to the nitrogen, the location is noted as M, as in N for the nitrogen. So this becomes N-methylethanamide. If there's two methyl groups attached to the N, then it becomes NN dimethyl ethanamide. Like all homologous series, the boiling point of amines increase with carbon chain as there are more dispersion forces occurring. But when comparing primary amines to primary alcohols, it's alcohols that win this battle as the hydrogen bonding between neighboring alcohols is stronger than the hydrogen bonding between neighboring amines. This is because the polarity between the OH bond is much stronger than the polarity between the NH bond as oxygen is more electronegative. Therefore, more energy is needed to overcome the intermolecular forces. If you look at a secondary amine, where the functional group is located within the carbon chain, it's not as accessible compared to the primary amine, so these tend to have a lower boiling point. How about tertiary amines? Hydrogen bonding is very difficult, so its boiling point is even lower than primary and secondary amines. How about amides? Amides follow a similar trend as amines as their ability to form hydrogen bonds decrease from primary to tertiary amides for the exact same reason. Small chained amines and amides are both soluble as they can form hydrogen bonds with water molecules depending on the ease of accessibility. The carbonyl group in the amides can also form dipole-dipole forces with water, so yeah, I'm done.